Hey, what's up everyone? This is Peter R. Newton, and today we're going to be working on flying AI. Now, when you look at this video, you initially think, well, this is flying AI, right? Well, this is actually working through path following and avoidance. So it's not true flying AI, but it's enough to achieve the same effects. And so today I'm going to instruct you on how to do this for yourself. So let's close this. And let's create a new project. So we're going to start off with the flying project. And you can rename it how you feel. I'm going to name it flying demo. And remove the starter content. OK, so now that we've created our project, let's go and find a target point actor. Now this is going to be our waypoint for our flying AI. So remember when I said that my flying AI uses path following? Well, this is the path point that it will be following. So now that we have that, let's go to our blueprint folder and open our blueprint plane. Now, everything is set up how we want as far as the steering goes, but we're going to basically input our own input vectors from a directional vector node. And that will allow us to steer the AI to the point that we have created. So let's start off by getting the actor that's within the world. So let's create a new variable and we're going to name this target. Let's change the variable type to target point. And then we can just save and compile this. Now, in the construction script, we want to just pull that target point that we have within the world and store it in our target point actor within the blueprint. So we get all actors of class. And we search for a target point. And then we're just going to get the first one. Now let's set our target variable from this get array. Save and compile. So now that we have our target stored so that we can reference it within the blueprint, let's get our directional vector. And then now let's apply it with the, the from and the to. So the to would be the target. So we're going to get the actor location. And in front would be our location. So an easy way would just be to copy this node. And then by default, it goes to self. So now let's break this so that we can have our inputs go to the proper axis. Now, from the thrust, we want to connect this to the x of the directional vector. So control click the axis value and connect it to the X. And we're going to do the same thing with the pitch and connect it to the Z. Now we're going to do the last one, which is the yaw and connect that to the Y. Now, since we're not using the inputs from the player, we want to have the tick update this information. So let's connect this to the node up here. And let's alt click this, alt click that, connect this to the top, alt click this to the top. And now we have all those nodes updating properly. Let's save and compile. 
Now let's go in game and see how this looks. <laughs> oh, um, why is it flying towards the ground? <laughs> Okay, so let's investigate. We have our add actor local offset, and then we're also affecting the local rotation. So that means we will have to affect the steering locally, or relative to the local rotation. So in order to do that, we have to unrotate the input the directional vector. So let's go here and we're going to unrotate. Unrotate vector and then connect this to the end vector and this is going to be our actor rotation. Now let's save, compile this. We also want to make some changes to the pitch, I believe. Pitch should be positive. And that's it. So let's go try it out now. Save. Now let's hit play. And as you can see, this ship, the AI flies. <laughs> It's flying in this infinite direction. Where's it going? <laughs> oh, there it goes. Oh, oh, it figured it out. Great. <laughs> so as you can see, this is really basic flying AI. And it will continue to update its steering rotation to fly towards the point that we have placed within the world. So if you would like to use this for your games, this is a quick and easy way to uh, get this added within your game. Hey guys, I hope that proved to be useful. If you have any questions or concerns, leave a comment below. If you want any one-on-one -on -one tutoring, please let me know. There's gonna be more content next week. And thanks guys, peace.